If you've ever watched a science fiction movie, there's almost always a scene or two about genetic engineering. That's just a fancy way of saying that scientists were able to create or modify the DNA of humans and animals. It may sound kind of cool at first, but once you start to consider all the things that could go wrong, it can get pretty scary. The shocking thing about it though, is those experiments are currently happening today on animals. So stick with us here at The Hub to see strange animals created by scientists. Before we find out if scientists have gone too far, make sure you click to subscribe to our channel. And turn on those alerts too, so you can see the latest videos that come out of our lab. Vacanti Mouse 1997 was a strange year for ears. Not only did heavyweight boxer Mike Tyson bite off the ear of his opponent during a match, but we also got this unbelievable photo. A mouse with an ear growing out of its back. This little fellow was named the Vacanti Mouse, after the scientist that created it, Dr. Charles Vacanti. And before we dive in too deep, it's important we let you know that this is not a real human ear. It was actually cartilage from a cow that was put into the shape of an ear. Why, you may ask? Well, this scientist actually had pure intentions with this strange experiment. He was doing research to create a proper cartilage shape so we could replace a human ear one day. By implanting this ear shape, he was able to use the mouse's blood vessels to nourish the cartilage cells until they grew correctly. This cow-mouse-human ear hybrid never made it onto a human head, thankfully, because of the likelihood of rejection. As it turns out, the human body isn't exactly fond of getting cow parts attached to it. This experiment did help Dr. Vacanti in his pursuits, and also provided us with this one-of-a-kind picture. We're going to consider that a success. See-Through Frog Let's stay positive and learn about another animal created for the greater good. If you've ever taken a class in biology, there's one day that makes a lot of people go running for the bathroom, dissection day. For many school systems, the need to teach students about how the organs of a frog behave is more important than keeping the frogs alive. And for many years, there wasn't much of an alternative. Either dissect the frog or fail the assignment. Pretty rough. But luckily, there are some sympathetic scientists out there who've got the frogs back. They were able to experiment with breeding certain types of mostly translucent frogs so that the study of organs would be possible without dissection. This mainly became possible after the discovery of transparent glass frogs from the rainforests of Central and South America. That means soon schools should have the option of observing a frog's organs, blood vessels, and eggs through the skin rather than cutting it open. The queasy children of the world owe a huge debt of thanks to these scientists. It's amazing that some strange animals exist solely to protect other members of their species. We never thought we'd call a frog a hero, but we stand corrected. Dolly the Sheep In Scotland in 1996, an incredible story broke that had people believing we were all living in the future. Stories about cloning have existed in pop culture for years, and it was difficult for people to imagine a reality in which it was possible. But that all changed with the arrival of a sheep named Dolly. She was created at the Roslyn Institute in Scotland as part of an effort to produce better genetically modified livestock. What made Dolly so incredible is that she was the first ever example of a lab-created clone. Science fiction had become science fact. The scientists were able to create her by taking two cells from other sheep. One cell was the mammary gland of a six-year-old Finn Dorset sheep, and the other was an egg cell from a Scottish blackface sheep. When she was born, the scientists immediately knew that they had been successful because of her white face. If she was a true genetic match to her mother and not a clone, then she would have had a black face. This modern miracle was talked about to death in schools, the news, and late night television. She unfortunately died in 2003 at the age of six, but not before capturing the hearts and minds of the world. Sterile Pink Ballworm The next item on our list is starting to head into a moral gray area. It brings up the question, is it okay to experiment on living things to increase your profits? Cotton crops in the United States are notorious for getting overrun with pests. There are constantly debates over pesticides, and for good reason. People should be concerned with what types of chemicals they're unknowingly putting into their body. But one of the non-poison methods to combat a pest called a pink ballworm is definitely an interesting one. Scientists were able to create a version of the worm that is sterile, which means it can't reproduce with other worms. 
they then release these new sterile worms into the crops. The reason behind this is that the sterile worms will compete against the wild ball worms to mate, cutting the numbers of the newly born down significantly. The modified worms are sterilized by radiation and marked with a fluorescent indicator so they can be easily tracked. The scary part is that these scientists believe it's alright to sterilize living things that aren't cooperating. That sets up a troubling precedent for the future. What happens in the future when they decide another animal isn't lining up with their profits? Sudden Death Mosquito If you thought killing off a certain animal was wrong because they ate up profits, what if they ate up you instead? Well, not exactly eating you, but they do suck your blood. Yes, I'm talking about the annoyance known as the mosquito. The ethical questions start flying when you consider the elimination of a species that is a constant nuisance. A company called Oxytech is responsible for this new type of mosquito called the Sudden Death Mosquito. This is actually the very same company that created the sterile ball worm. This British company has insect genocide on its mind because the strategy they use with the worm is the same for the mosquito. They've programmed the bugs to die before they're able to reproduce. The hope is that they're able to release enough males that a few get through to spread the disease to the females. That way, the population will slowly be infected and die out. Releasing thousands of mosquitoes into the wild is a troubling idea when you consider that we really don't know the ramifications. Some scientists have said that humans would be perfectly fine without them, but there are always unknown effects when you create strange new animals. Should we really be taking the risk? Glowfish Wow, that got pretty heavy for a minute, so let's lighten things up a bit, shall we? Actually, let's lighten things up a lot. The next strange animal on our list is called the glowfish, and it's very appropriately named. It's a genetically modified zebrafish designed to glow in the dark. It all started as a pet project in 1999 by Dr. Gong. He and his associates extracted a protein from a jellyfish and inserted it into a zebrafish embryo. The effects were red, green, and orange glow. The reasoning behind this wasn't just to make a pretty pet, but to create a fish that would respond to polluted water. The fish are able to absorb light in the world and then re-emit it, which is how they glow. The original pollution plan went awry when people enjoyed the look of the fish and wanted it as a pet of their own. Many places, including California and Michigan, banned the glowfish over concerns that it would contaminate the native fish population in the area. The creation of this animal makes you consider if changing the appearance of a pet because it's more appealing to look at is ethical. Would you make your dog or cat glow in the dark? Fast Growing Salmon Imagine this scenario. You're out on a boat with a fishing pole in the water. You feel a bite on the line and you reel it in with all your might only to discover a salmon three times bigger than the average one. Would you think you were the luckiest fisherman alive or that there was foul play involved? Well, if you were in Waltham, Massachusetts, it was probably a designer fish. What do we mean by that? Well, there's a company called Aqua Bounty that developed a salmon breed they call Aqua Advantage. But this is obviously no ordinary salmon. It's designed to grow at twice the normal rate. They decided to start to breed this massive fish to improve inland fish farming. They also thought it would cut back on the need for ocean pens. These fish are also sterile, so that means that salmon this size aren't going to start popping up all over North America. That being said, there was an incident in Illinois where flooding caused a type of carp not native to the area to escape into local rivers. So even though scientists think they have this strange animal contained, there are never any guarantees. I hope you like fish sticks. Ryukin Goldfish What do you get when you combine the see-through frog and the glowfish? No, this isn't a setup for a joke. It's another strange and genetically modified animal on our list. Apparently not able to let the Western world have all the fun, the Japanese created the Ryukin goldfish in 2009. It was created because of pressure from animal rights activists. You guessed it, they were upset that so many fish were being needlessly dissected. The Ryukin is see-through, just like the frogs on this list, so that they can be studied in classrooms without having to be killed. The scientists were able to create this breed by breeding together mutated hatchery goldfish with pale skin. The end result is what you see before you now, the creepy looking fish with a visible heart, brain, and organs. It even has translucent scales. 
This fish may be perfect for teaching, but it also would be great to keep as a pet to scare your friends. Another thing that makes these super fish stand out is their lifespan. Most goldfish are known for dying very quickly, but not these ones. They can live for up to 20 years and grow 10 inches long. We bet you've never heard of a goldfish like that. Featherless Chicken In Tel Aviv, scientists have created what may be the most horrible and terrifying creature ever known to man. Just kidding, they made a featherless chicken. A goofy and hilarious looking breed of chicken that would be more at home in a cartoon than in real life. They were created by crossing together two separate types of chickens. The first was a broiler chicken, which are the large meat heavy ones. These are the kind of chickens found in farms all across the world. And the second is the featherless neck chicken. Apparently, they wanted to make a chicken that was more energy efficient and could survive in warmer climates. This would save chicken farmers in the future from having to buy expensive cooling systems. The idea behind this particular chicken is that it would grow faster by transferring the energy it normally uses for feather growth. Of course, chickens likely would never have evolved like this naturally, so it calls into question the reasoning behind it. Are we really okay with changing the entire genetic makeup of an animal just so we can save a few dollars? It seems like that's the pattern for a good majority of animals on this list, huh? Popeye Pigs Our last strange animal exists to answer a question we didn't know existed. Should we create a hybrid plant and animal? The obvious answer should be no way or why would you do that? But the scientists behind the Popeye Pig didn't see it that way. You see, this is the first attempt in the world to genetically engineer a mammal to contain plant DNA. The strange reason behind this is simple. They claim that the pork produced from this pig is much healthier than a normal pig. A rational person's thoughts might go to an easier solution. For example, maybe eat less pork? Or when you're served pork at dinner, maybe eat vegetables on the side. These Japanese scientists apparently couldn't be bothered with such thoughts and combined spinach genes with the proteins in the pig's flesh. It's hard to justify playing mad scientists just because you can. A character from a very famous movie once said, Your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. The name of that movie? Jurassic Park. I hope you're happy with yourselves, Japanese scientists. Now we're only a few steps away from a dinosaur attack. Jeez. Well, we've reached the end of this genetically modified video. Be sure and keep watching The Hub for more videos that are scientifically proven to be fun to watch. See you next time!